We educate children to love and respect each other and their environments across the world. In this adventure, we learn how mangroves in the Cayman Islands help our climate. This Bobo and TD episode is proudly presented by Tutti Technologies. This is what we call the central mangrove wetland. It's located right bang smack in the middle of Grand Cayman, and it spans about 8,600 acres, totally contiguous swamp. You know, it's the largest mangrove wetland, contiguous wetland, not interrupted, in the whole Caribbean. Oh, they're here! Hello, Mr. Cutie! Wonderful, you guys made it! Welcome to the Central Mangrove Wetland. Gee, I feel like I've walked a million miles to get here. <laughs> I'm sure that was indeed a long walk for a little turtle. But look at this view. I wonder how many animals and insects are living here. Glad to have you here, Miss Turtle, and your students. Thank you for inviting us here, Mr. Keeley. So, what will we discover today? Out here, we can find three different kinds of mangroves. They grow, all of them, in the central mangroves and throughout the Cayman Islands. Does anyone know what their names are? Marvelous mangroves? Nice try, Titi. But that sounds like the name of the learning program Mr. Keele created. Oh, I know. Red mangroves. You're correct. Can someone give me the names of the other two? Does anyone know the other two types of mangroves? Grandpa Turtle told me about mangroves before. The black mangroves and the white mangroves. Excellent, Bobo. What else did your grandpa tell you about mangroves? He said we need to protect them because mangroves provide so much to the Cayman Islands and us too. Yes, they do. Mangroves contribute many, many essentials to the islands. Do all trees provide as much as mangroves do, Mr. Keeley? Yes, they do. But can anyone tell me what mangroves do for the islands? Hmm. Sounds like there is something special about mangroves. That's a tough question, right? Even I don't know the answer, Mr. Keeley. What about this? We call the mangroves V-I-Ts. Does anyone know what the V and the I and the T stand for? No, Mr. Keeley. Those letters stand for very important trees. Now, let's learn why. Hi, my name is Senior Parrot. I can teach you why mangroves are so special. One, mangroves can protect the Cayman Islands from hurricanes and tsunamis. Two, mangroves also protect baby fish from their predators. Three, mangroves have a superpower to clean the water. Four, and like other trees, mangroves give us clean air but much more than other trees can. Five, mangroves provide homes to many land animals, birds, and insects. If you didn't know, now you know. Wow! wow. Marvelous! Yes, they are VIT for sure! Indeed! Who knew that mangroves give us clean air and clean the water? Wow! Did you know that mangroves give us so much? We really need to protect them? I'm glad you all learned something about mangroves today. Mr. Keely, I have a question. Would our air become stinky if we don't have any mangroves? Well, it could make a big difference to the air quality. And not just that. Our climate, you know, it keeps changing. What is climate? Leave that to me, Mr. Keely. The word climate means a weather condition for the area over a long period of time. A long time ago, we didn't have cars, motorcycles, airplanes, even electricity. All this modern lifestyle causes us to use more energy. And to produce energy, we have to burn gas, oils, etc. This is one of the main reasons for climate change. I don't mean to scare you, but we really need to change our lifestyle if we want to continue living in this beautiful place and enjoy nature. And we mean everybody, including you, kids. 
Wow. wow. I also heard the word carbon dioxide. Yeah, I heard that too. Yes, me too. I think that causes climate change. Correct. Good job, guys. And that is true. Carbon dioxide is not good for climate change. But do you know why? No, no Mrs. Mrs. Turtle. Now we'll learn about one of the biggest causes of human-made climate change. We call it carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide? Did you know that word, kids? Don't worry. If you didn't know, we can learn together. So pay attention now. Most carbon dioxide comes from us humans, you know, us using energy. If we change the way that we live and lessen the amount of carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere, that could provide a major solution. And children, there is something in nature that takes carbon dioxide and gives us clean air. Can you guess what that is? Mangroves and trees. Excellent. But do any of you know why? Do you remember VITs? Yes, very important trees. And do you remember that mangroves give us clean air? Yes. Good. Senor Parrot, can you explain to us how mangroves give us clean air? Yes, I can explain that. Mangroves are trees, and all trees breathe in carbon dioxide gas and breathe out clean air called oxygen, which is what you and I breathe. But not only that, all the carbon dioxide the trees breathe in is kept underneath them. Mangroves can store five times more than the tropical rainforest. They store carbon dioxide in their deep, deep roots which goes much deeper than tropical rainforest trees. You just learned that one of the biggest reasons for climate change is carbon dioxide, right? So fewer mangroves means more carbon dioxide. More carbon dioxide means it's bad for climate change. One more important fact. When mangroves are cut down and destroyed, all the carbon dioxide mangroves stored will go back into the air. That is why we need to protect the central mangrove wetlands and not destroy them. That's why Grandpa told me that mangroves are so important to us. Now I know why mangroves are very important trees. Yay! V-I-T! 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 Awesome! I can tell you many, many more reasons why mangroves play an essential part of the Cayman Islands ecosystem. But I'll explain that to you another time. I want to know more about mangroves. Yes, and how to protect our mangroves and wetlands. Mr. Keeley, it seems like I will have to ask you to do more classes with my students. I'd love to, Mrs. Turtle. We have a program called Junior Mangrove Rangers for children aged eight and above. Now, if you all want to join it, you can and learn all about mangroves. Thank you, Mr. Keeley. Thank you, kids. See you guys soon. Bye, Mr. Keeley.